Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to take a look at an almost shooting. Not quite a shooting, but this close. This is Lucas Ellerman. He's lucky as hell and about as smart as a goldfish. Lucas had a few warrants. A few warrants that make police officers very nervous when apprehending someone like this. Warrants like second degree assault, felony escape from the Department of Corrections, and possession of a firearm by a felon. Yeah, felony ex escape. Felony escape from escape. Felony is es escape from a federal pen. Fuck. It's es escape. 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 Lucas Ellerman was trying to escape. Because of all these juicy, juicy warrants, two groups of cool guys were looking for him. The first group was the Spokane Pack Team, our patrol anti-crime team. They're those guys that don't have to answer traditional police calls, show off their tattoos, and can probably grow big, glorious beards. The second group looking for criminal genius Lucas Ellerman was the U.S. Federal Marshals. Boy, if they're after you, you done fucked up. What ha happened was, these two group of bad man pajamas was doing surveillance on a house they thought old Einstein Ellerman was in. A truck left the residence, so a traffic stop was initiated, and the guy driving complied with police to get out of the vehicle. Well, they didn't see Ellerman hiding in the back seat of the same vehicle. All of this was not caught on video. Ellerman jumps into the front seat of the vehicle and takes off. He hits several parked cars before driving into a snowbank. Officers then pin his car against said snowbank, but he continued to try to drive off. That's where the body camera footage starts, and there's no sound for the first few seconds. Right off the bat, you can see snow being thrown everywhere from the suspect, spinning tires as the officer points his gun at him. If an officer is pointing his gun at you, you should probably stop doing what you're doing. Ellerman tries his best for nearly two minutes to outsmart a big-ass snowbank until the truck finally just dies. Carnahan and uh, Fourth trying to pin him in. He's in a car smoking. Need some cars here. So can get him. Get back! Get back! Officer Dan Lesser gets fed up with his stupid ass and pulls out his old trusty baton. This is when Dan's uncle Scott Lesser runs up behind him to assist. Oh, ain't that nice? Scott and his nephew get to spend some quality family time with each other. As we all know, the quickest way to a criminal's heart is through his windshield, or with a gun, or something like that. The officer gently removes the window from the vehicle and then offers some very subtle words of encouragement to the suspect. This causes the suspect to somehow teleport over to the passenger seat. Don't fucking move! You're gonna get bit by a fucking dog! Get it! Get it! Don't! I'm gonna fucking shoot you! Despite multiple words of encouragement, Ellerman kept reaching into his pants while repeating, I'm trying to show you. Great moves, Ellerman. Proud of you. Oh, and what was that that Ellerman just had to show the officer that almost got him killed? His cigarettes. Get on the other side, Scott. No. I will fucking kill you. If you don't Do you understand me? He's got his cigarettes, right? He's going to give up, right? No, he just keeps on saying the worst things he could ever say in this position while frantically looking around inside of his car. Don't Do you understand me? I got a You're pistol. done. I got a pistol. Oh, yeah. Did I mention the officer lesser has a bork bork nom nom? The officer issues some very calm, subtle orders, and Ellerman still tries to negotiate with him. You're fucking done. Oh, He's going to get it. Oh, my hand. In the meantime, Uncle Scott is grabbing the dog. Scott passes the dog off to his nephew, and it sounds like Dan just said fuck you and sends the dog in on him. Sorry, buddy. You had your chance. You had a lot of chances. I 
you're a big tough criminal that wanted to escape from jail, run for police, tell them you have a gun, and not listen to any of their orders. I give up. Well, they end up jerking old dude right out the window with the bork still nomming on his lower extremities. Oh my god, get your dog! Get your dog! Help me! Help me! Help me! Boost, I got him! Wait, relax, we got him! He doesn't exactly want to get his hands behind his back, so Uncle Scott has to throw a few distractionary strikes. The good little doggo comes off pretty easy and they put cuffs on the suspect. <laughs> Ellerman ended up getting 70 months in prison for his shenanigans followed by 12 months of community custody. Officials said that Dan Lester's use of force was absolutely warranted in this situation, but he will be disciplined for his demeanor. Burr. In a release, Mayor David Condon responded to the footage with the following statement. Over the past eight years, we worked hard to improve transparency and accountability related to use of force and to continually refine our practices. While this incident removed a highly dangerous individual from our streets, the demeanor and disturbing language used by the officer in this incident demonstrates that we must continue to hold our officers accountable to the highest standards of conduct. This is bullshit. How is telling the truth to the suspect you're arresting not good conduct. I'm amazed by this whole thing still. Somehow, with Ellerman being the biggest dipshit in the history of arrests, he didn't get shot. It's white privilege for you, am I right, Twitter? Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was good seeing some bark noms. We haven't had a good video of that in a while. Right when this video is released, I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash operator hanging out. Come hang out with me. Let's talk about some crime stuff tonight. Everyone, please have a fantastic day.